Okay, I've been having some extruder issues with uh, one of the extruders in my airwolf. They did send me a new arm for it. The springs that came with the new arm were too tight. I had to take the springs out of the old arm. It's no big deal. Um, <clears throat> my older Ordbot, I had built a couple of different extruders for it. I, I changed it over to a Bowden system, which if you're running any extruder system on an Ordbot or anything similar to an Ordbot, <clears throat> uh, if it's a direct drive, direct feed, I would change it to a Bowden system. It does make a large difference not having that extra mass on that head while it's moving. <clears throat> With that said, like I said, I've printed some extruders, you know, made some, etc., etc., and I had a few different issues. If you're going to do a Bowden system, and you want to print one, the Wade is probably the best to go with. It's a proven system. <clears throat> the larger gear, it works well. Um, with that said, if you have the money and you want to get a good extruder, an all-metal extruder is a nice way to go. I ordered a micro Micron uh, uh, dual extruder. Unfortunately, it comes from Israel. I did not know that. So, it's on the way. After a week of waiting, I called them, or I messaged them. You can't really call them. I sent them a message. They said that they were sorry. The order, the parts had been out for powder coating, and they did send it out with one week free shipping, which means it should get here by the end of this week. <clears throat> but, I kind of needed them last week. With that said, oh... I ordered this. This is a Bulldog. This is a planetary gear uh, using a NEMA stepper motor. But this is a Bulldog. This is the XL version. The light version does not have the gearbox. It's for one uh, 1.75 filament only. This one's for 1.75 or 3.0. Okay. You load it by pressing this in. And you can see that when you press this in that does move and let me tell you what I am not a weak person but that takes a lot of force I'm actually gonna loosen them tension screws up a little bit because that is taking a lot of force to move it I could not believe how tight that really was um, as you can see from the top it's threaded on both ends it does have the j-head mount too it comes with everything to do it direct drive or boating you can take a flathead, take that out. Um, the parts they give you, that fan and stuff is included as a gift, as they say. They don't warranty the fan. That The fan is for the uh, hot end. But it comes with tools, uh, wire, uh, cleaning brushes. It comes with 3.0 or 3 millimeter and 1.75 millimeter uh tubes and connectors for Bowden if you want to do it that way I mean with shipping it was 150 from Maker Farm it's a nice extruder I'm going to mount it today on my Ordbot and take the one I made off of it um, it should do just about anything that you want to shove through it I mean it'll do 3mm it'll do 1.75mm uh, with the amount of tension, and it is adjustable tension by these two screws here, I'm going to back those out and take some of that force off because, I mean, wow, that's excessive. I mean, maybe you need that. I don't know. I, I wouldn't imagine ever needing that much force, not with a gear-driven system. So, the, <clears throat> the it's uh, I think it's 5.1 ratio. Basically, you're going to run this without heating up your motor. On most of the direct drive systems, if you do large prints, your motor gets hot. You either got to put a heat sink or a fan or something. I have a heat sink and a fan on mine. And honestly, a direct drive on one of these motors for 3 uh, millimeter fil filament is not going to happen. I've done it. And you have to put a lot of cooling on that motor. So, <clears throat> this is the way to go. Um, this is my first look at one of these. Like I said, I ordered it. Uh, this is the Bulldog XL. The light is cheaper, but it only works for 1.75 filament because you don't get the gearbox. 
I mean, they give you everything to put this on just about anything you want to. I'm going to take off the J-head mount because mine is a Bowden system. So, I will get this hooked up. I'll get back to you with more on this. Also, uh, just a quick, uh, my Pegasus printer has been printing flawlessly. I've made a couple of little changes on it, but honestly, I've found that if you keep the room temperature of the printers in at 72 degrees, between 66 and 72 degrees, using their resin, and when I say their, I mean full spectrum lasers resin, it seems to print flawlessly, no matter what I print. Um, there's a gearbox I printed out for making my own NEMA gearbox. So, you know, um, there's part of it for the gearbox. I mean, it does print well. <clears throat> I cannot complain. So, anybody that was curious about that, yes, it is working. And uh, with the newest software, I've noticed that uh, I've been able to use some resins that I couldn't use before from other makers. And it's doing fine. So, thank you for watching. I'll get back to you and let you know how this works.